on to this now. More allegations of a culture of silence and imagine or image protection above all else at the Drunkensburg Boys Choir School are emerging. Now, a second family has come forward alleging that the school failed to properly respond to claims that their son was molested by another. In this uh, ENCA exclusive, Barry Bateman explains the school is failing its legal applications. Just a week after a 14-year-old boy allegedly raped another boy at the Drakensberg Boys Choir in October 2018, the school was faced with another case of alleged sexual abuse. Early one Sunday morning, this father says he received a frantic call from his 12-year-old son. He had been watching a movie the night before in amongst their peers. They had created what they call a Christmas bed, which is essentially a collection of beds and mattresses uh, in one location. And then around midnight, he had woken up with one of his peers' hands in his pants, uh, busy playing with him. Despite the boy immediately reporting the incident to his boarding house father, the parents of the boy could not reach anyone from the school for the entire day. When they finally did reach them, they were told the boys had been separated, the matter had been addressed, and the boys were happy. The house mother asked the uh, perpetrator, as well as the victim, my son, to have a picture together to send to us as his parents to demonstrate that everything was fine and that the matter had been taken care of and that they were friends again. And my son actually refused to take, participate in the activity altogether, and he actually reported that. The father questions why the school did not report this matter, firstly to him and then to the authorities. The law is clear on how schools should respond to incidents of this nature. The Children's Act speaks specifically to the best interests of the child. The Sexual Offences Act, Section 54, speaks about mandatory reporting. So it's not about, uh, you know, that you, you, one can use one's discretion around reporting. So the law supersedes everything. Dr. Shahida Omar stresses that it's not for schools to conduct their own investigations and hearings. This should be left to professionals such as social workers. Where schools have done this, it has been to the detriment of children. And we know that many schools do this not because of the best interests of the child. It's usually to pursue the best interests of the school. The reputation they believe would be compromised and the social stigma that would be attached to the child. School headmaster Greg Brooks did not respond to questions due to his unavailability. But he has previously defended the school's handling of the alleged rape case. That matter was not reported to the authorities, and an internal disciplinary hearing was conducted instead, which found the incident was consensual. It's processes like these which social workers fear will contribute to the cycle of abuse, because victims and perpetrators do not get the specialized professional support they need. Barry Bateman, Johannesburg.